Sonic Space Transportation presents Space Vacation A project by Andrew Jimenez Mauricio Navarrete Kenneth Clay and Axel Jimenez This ad is sponsored by Gatorade. At Sanic Space Transportation, you, we have trusty captain and crew. And we will be able to get you the most fun that you can possibly have. We do visit the moon because everyone wants to see those nice craters. And you will be able to see Mercury and every other planet that we have studied and talked about. And on this vacation, we have a very nice luxury room and a very nice, a very nice bonding center. Thank you for watching. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, orbiting it every 224 Earth days. It has no natural satellite, and it is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. After the Moon, it is the brightest natural object in the night sky, reaching an apparent magnitude of negative 4, bright enough to cast shadows. Because Venus is an inferior from Earth, it never appears to venture far from the Sun. Its elongation reaches a maximum of 47.8 degrees. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun in the solar system. It is the fourth largest planet by diameter and the third largest by mass. Among the gaseous planets in the solar system, Neptune is the most dense. Neptune is 17 times the mass of Earth and is slightly more massive than its near twin Uranus, which is 15 times the mass of Earth and not as dense as Neptune. Neptune orbits the Sun at an average distance of 30.1 astronomical units. Named after the Roman god of the sea, its, it's astronomical symbol is a trident. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. Named after the Roman god of war, it is often referred to as the red planet because the iron oxide prevalent on its surface gives it a reddish appearance. Uh, Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere, having surface features reminiscent both of the impact craters of the moon and the volcanoes, valleys, deserts, and polarized caps of Earth. The rotational period and seasonal cycles of Mars are likewise similar to those of Earth. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury orbits the Sun in about 88 Earth days. If you were to be on Mercury, there would be no water because the Sun dries, dries it up quite quickly. And the sun would be about three times bigger than it is on Earth, or more. And if you were to be on Earth Mercury, it's about 843 de degrees Fahrenheit, Celsius over there. And um, if, if you were also to be over there, there would be no life, quite clearly. Because if, if there was to be life on that planet, you would, it would be dead. Our pilots are well trained by the U.S. Air Force, so don't make fun of them, because they take their training serious. Join our cruise ships now. So today we are actually doing uh, one of those uh, testing with the wings right now with our engineers right now, and we're doing it with one of the latest uh, air vents right now. As you can see, it's really loud down here, and they're practicing with it right now as we speak. Practicing with our new wing, our X wing right here. All right? It's not made out of cardboard. It's actually made of pure steel right now. Welcome to the bloopers of our making of our commercial. That was a fail. What was a fail? What? Oh, um. You could go like this fast. That's a moon rock. Yay, Mauricio. Look how slow it is. I'm going to talk to one of our pilots. This guy. Anything? <laughs> First airline thing you snip in this hole, and it's about 100 centimeters wide, 200 centimeters long. You know, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's very expensive. About a thousand. As you can see. 
So that's why we use one of our best engineers to fix this thing. Air conditioning is low. As you can tell, it's very roomy in here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We got two windows. Two windows. Yeah. So, so how do you guys feel about piloting, piloting this thing right here? I see that Captain Maurizio is doing a lot of important things right here. It doesn't look very sophisticated. There's no buttons. I guess it's all touch, I guess. One man ship. One man do his duties. Do his duties. Where are your arms, sir? Cute. That's pretty cool, man. So, so how do you drive this ship? Oh, well, I just grabbed this box and moved around. It's pretty easy. So, so, so it's pretty easy. It looks like you're by the sun right now because of the sunlight hitting your face. Yes. Uh. Welcome to our video, and today we are going to talk to, with one of the engineers with our space, space cruise liner right here. All right, here's one of our engineers. Um, yeah, I'm better than the camera. <laughs> so sorry. You can, you can like one. Woman, I'm burned. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Jerome, for letting us do this video. <laughs> 